Hello, welcome to Chat Science. I am Hayley Loren and today we are going to be exploring fossil fuels and non-renewable energy. Now, if you're not even sure what energy is, because let's be honest, it's a bit of a weird concept, then you can check out my previous video called What is Energy? So let's chat about fossil fuels. So to understand fossil fuels, we have to go back hundreds of millions of years when the planet looked completely different to what it does today. So this is before humans existed and even before dinosaurs. So imagine you're there now, surrounded by rainforest and tall ancient trees creaking as they sway. The air is like warm and humid, yet kind of still and it's eerily quiet because you can't actually hear any birds chirping because, well, they don't exist yet. But you see a few beetles marching along the floor towards like a boggy area and a really strange fish-like reptile just sitting there looking at you. It's ancient earth, an alien world and fossil fuels start here. You look towards the boggy area and you notice a tree slumped over, partly submerged in the bog. Leaves flutter down from the tree canopy above and kind of decorate the boggy land in front of you. As we fast forward, more and more leaves fall down, more trees and plants become submerged and buried in the ground. We fast forward even quicker and we watch hundreds and thousands and millions of years zoom by. The ancient plants are buried deeper and deeper in the ground. They're crushed and squeezed and broken down in the soil where there's like no oxygen in a process called anaerobic decomposition. The heat and pressure builds and builds to a point where chemical changes happen and the plants or the decomposed mush that's left from the plants changes into something completely unrecognizable, a fossil fuel. Now, depending on the location and the type of plants that were there, the mush turns into different types of fossil fuels. So that could be coal, oil or gas. And they are fuels because they contain all of the energy that was once stored within the ancient plants that had allowed them to grow. So fossil fuels are essentially ancient energy trapped deep within the Earth's surface. So since their discovery, they've been responsible for huge leaps in technology and in our lifestyles. So now we can heat our homes and drive cars and go shopping and, and go to the cinema and even fly around the world. Fossil fuels have been a huge part of the lives we live today. We are dependent on them, but are they good? Or at least is our use of them good? The answer, well, no. Because when we burn fossil fuels, they release greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, which then get trapped within the Earth's atmosphere and cause warming of the Earth's surface. Now, there is a lot of controversy around global warming, and I'm not going to go into that here because I really want to be able to talk about it fully. So I'm going to save that for another video. Another thing is that they're not infinite. There were only so many plants that were crushed and buried so fossil fuels are a limited source of energy. So if we keep using them, but there's only a limited supply, then what does that mean? Well, eventually they'll run out. Because of this, because they'll run out, and because they can't be renewed, then they're known as a non-renewable energy source and they're unsustainable. So if fossil fuels are bad for the environment and eventually we'll run out of them, then what can we do about it? Well. Tune in next week and I will be talking about renewable energy. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that was useful or interesting in some way. And if you want to see more, then you can always click the subscribe button below um, and you can catch me next week. Please do send some comments and you can check out my website. I always want to hear from you. So speak to you soon.